Here's a question for you. What can Socrates, Bruce Springsteen, and Steph Curry all teach us about parenthood? Well, one of the world's best-selling philosophers explores that question in a new book. We're talking about Ryan Holiday's book. Uh, his other titles, like The Daily Stoic, have sold more than 2 million copies worldwide. 2 million. And his fans include Tom Brady and Katy Perry. His new book is The Daily Dad. Sorry, Michelle. 366 Meditations on Parenting, <laughs> Love, and Raising Great Kids. He's a father of two himself. He offers advice and wisdom culled from historic figures, living legends, pop culture, and more. And Ryan Holiday joins us now. Ryan, thank you for being here. Um, so you open the book by pointing out that lots of people have kids, but not enough of us become parents. Yeah. Ooh. That's a really important insight. Yep. But parenting today is different, right, than it was way back when. So how can we go to history to learn something about what we're doing now? Yeah, it, by definition, people came before us or we <laughs> wouldn't be here. Uh, and I, I think it's remarkable, you know, Socrates has kids, Aristotle has kids, Cleopatra has kids. So many historical figures had kids. They weren't all perfect parents, but we can learn something from them. One of my favorite expressions is that any fool can learn by experience. You know, we should learn from the experiences of others. And so I think we look at these historical figures and we can learn about being present. We can learn about controlling our temper. We can learn about helping them, our kids become who they're meant to be. And we can, we can pick and choose from what these historical figures did right. And we can pick and choose from what they did wrong. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Vlad, uh, I want to bring you in right away because Vlad's well, a new dad. He can count the days. Not well, even one, one year. Things, so as part of our series, Vlad to Dad, Tony and I did a podcast. And one of the things he impressed on me, which I think about a lot, which is that your children, whilst they are a part of you and your and my wife, um, they are their own unique individual human beings um, with unique personalities. And you have a quote by Marcus Aurelius in the book, which I love, life is short, do not forget the most important things in life, living for other people and doing good things for them. Yeah. And I thought to myself, if nothing else, I don't care what she does with, for a career or what path she chooses, but this is the one that I would want her to keep closest to her heart. Why is this such an important maxim? Yeah, it's, it's about helping them become who they're meant to be, not who you want them to be. I, I heard this great distinction. Are you a gardener or are you uh, uh, an architect, right? And no, we're helping them become what they're capable of being. And that's what the Stoics were doing. Marcus really has 12 children. Uh, and so we see the Stoics as these philosophers, and they were, but they were also dealing with wake-ups in the middle of the night. They were dealing with rebellious <laughs> teenagers. They're dealing with all the stuff that we're dealing with, and it's challenging them in all the ways that it's challenging us. But if we want to talk about having multi-generational impact, right, we can try to do it in our work, but we can also try to do it with the people that we're raising in our homes. Yeah, I love books like this, Daily Word. I'm, I'm waiting for the Daily Mom, but, you know. We'll, we'll I'm sure. Yeah, the, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you are coming to the Daily Mom. smart guy. But, yeah. Maybe I should write the Daily Mom. But, you know, I, I, I opened it up to May 1st, and May 1st, this predicts everything. Character is fate. Mm. Woo, I remember a movie I love called Simply Irresistible, and that was one she threw at him. He was like, oh, you've cursed me. Mm. Why is this one so important? You know, I th when we're trying to raise successful kids, there's a lot of proxies we can look at, right? How are they doing in school? You know, what career track are they on? But if you want to raise a good kid, why don't you focus on character? The, the other version of that Greek expression is that character is destiny, yes. right? The, the, the character that you instill in them, the virtues, the values you give them, ultimately that's going to mm. determine who they are. The, the four Stoic virtues I have them tattooed on my wrist here is, is courage, discipline, justice, and wisdom. Mm. And I think if you, can, if you can create a home in which those four virtues are paramount, which you are embodying them, not just talking about them, but you are yourself living them, and your kids can pick up on that, they're going to turn out okay, mm. right? They're going to turn out okay in the long run. Now, I think one of the biggest stressors to parents is trying to have the right answer all the time. Mm. Yeah. And you say it's better to have the right question. Mm -hmm. yeah. um, and I want to get your thoughts on a couple of them. Uh, first, am I cherishing garbage time? Mm -hmm. Unpack that a little bit. It's garbage. Well, we talk a lot about quality time, right? We all want to have quality time with our kids. That's why we plan trips. I brought my kids to New York for this, right? And we get here yesterday, and it's pouring rain. So the plans are go sideways. But they had just as much fun playing in the rain outside a block from our hotel as mm -hmm. they did whatever we could have planned, right? right. So quality time in, 
in some ways is almost this cop-out because it's in the future. But garbage time is right now. Every minute can be quality time. You know, yeah, we think of planning you. the vacation, but the drive to the airport is also part Let's of the trip. And if you're stressed and miserable and you're rushing through it, you're giving up what is extraordinary and wonderful. They, they call it the present yeah. right now. All right, Ryan Holiday, we have to leave it there. Uh, the one question you say that parents should ask their kids every day is, what good did you do for someone else? Yes. Daily Dad goes on sale tomorrow. We'll be right back.